PC Crash 10.1 has several new tools in the 3D window and several improvements in the manipulation of 3D objects. Let's take a look at these features. Here we have a PC Crash project. We have a road, a car, and several 3D object trees. The first new feature can be found in the 3D uh, visualization window. New in PC Crash 10.1 is the ability to save camera positions. By simply going to the view menu and save camera, we can define, we can save this precise camera location. So we'll name this front view for the front view of the car, and we can save. We can manipulate, we can navigate to the right side of the vehicle and repeat the process. And again, maybe for the rear. After the camera positions are saved, the camera's position can be recalled using this drop-down toolbar. So here we have the front view, rear view, and right view. Another new feature found in the 3D visualization window is the ability to scale 3D objects. Uh, we can scale by using going to the option menu and scale. And we can, for example, scale this tree. So after the bounding box appears, we can drag any of these corners or these uh, green boxes to uh, either move or scale. If, for example, the tree is should be bigger and wider, we can make it so. The next new feature in PC Crash 10.1 is the ability to make any color transparent. In previous versions of PC Crash, only the light blue color would show up as transparent. Now any color vehicle can be transparent. This can be done by going back to the 2D window, going into right-clicking and going to Options. Under the Colors tab, we have our first vehicle, and we can simply click Show Transparency. We can also change the amount of transparency. We can change this to 90%. Hit Apply and OK. And now we see the vehicle is transparent. Again, going back into the 3D window, we see the vehicle is transparent. Another new feature in PC Crash 10.1 is the ability to recolor the 3D, uh, 3D objects. So in this example, I'll be recoloring this vehicle. So again, we'll go into Options, under Colors, under our first vehicle, and here in the 3D Models uh, breakout box, we can change the colors of the wheels and tires, or even the vehicle itself. So in this example, I'll be changing the color of the interior of the vehicle from gray, maybe to blue. Once that is done, we hit apply and then OK. And now we see the vehicle interior is now blue. This new tool can be used to more closely match uh, cars and objects in real life. The last new feature uh, in PC Crash 10.1 is the ability to add logos to your animations in your 3D window. So here we will simulate the vehicle going forward. And once that's done, we can go into our 3D window. And under the View Display Options menu, we can see that we have the ability to add new logo images. The images can be added to uh, any location found in the 3D window. We will do uh, right top, and we see a new logo is added. And when we play the animation, the logo is permanent. To 
to turn off the logo. Simply uh, change, simply click Do Not Display, and the logo image can be changed to any uh, image file of your choosing. Thank you for watching. That is the new 3D improvements found in PC Crash 10.1.